Hey cooks, today we're gonna try out the Demira egg poacher that a Eric bought me for Christmas. Um, one thing I've always done is I've made eggs in just a, a regular frying pan with a little bit of water. What's great about this is it eliminates some of that water so your eggs aren't so watery um, when you're going to use them. We're ultimately gonna use these for an Eggs Benedict. We got some hollandaise sauce over here, keeping warm in the all clad prep and cook. So we need these eggs so we can make our, um, make our Eggs Benedict. So join me, let's poach some eggs in the Demira Egg Poacher. Okay, so the way these egg poachers work is um, they usually have a glass lid like this. This is an absolute beautiful pan. Um, a lot of their cookware is disc bottom. They do have um, fully clad, but some pieces don't necessarily need to be fully clad. Um, it comes with these little egg cups and these happen to be nonstick. It kind of helps getting the eggs out. We are going to be spraying it with a little bit of this organic extra virgin olive oil. One of the things about these sprays, since this is nonstick, you don't want to put a type of spray that is anything other than just oil because those propellants and those gums and the things that they use to keep these from mucking up end up mucking up your nonstick and it leaves a sticky residue and it's possible to get that off. The ingredients on this are organic extra virgin olive oil. That's all it has in it. It has no propellants. This is your first cold press olive oil. So how these things work is we're going to put our water down here at the bottom. And so you have your little egg tray here. When you go to clean these things, these things pop off of this little um, holder here so you can fully clean them. You don't get anything stuck in there. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in here. I just put some water in this water bottle. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up a couple, like an inch or so. You don't want too much water in it. You want the water sitting below um, your eggs here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give these a little spray. And we're gonna go ahead and crack our eggs in here. Ooh. Let me wash my hands really quick. Okay, so I turned our burner on and got a boil here. We kind of just want a low boil. So I have this right now at about 600. Woo, I'm getting a facial. Um, <laughs> I took the eggs out just so that I can monitor the time. If I leave them in there while it's coming to boil, it's gonna mess up the time. So I'm just gonna put the eggs back in here. We are gonna poach these for four minutes and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, it's been four minutes. Ooh, they look really good. So if you want them like hard cooked, then, um, Cook them maybe six minutes. If you want them uh, really runny, then cook them three minutes, right? It's your preference. Woo, that's hot. Okay, so let's get our eggs out of here. Woo. These things are cute. There's a little bit of liquid in there. Wow, <laughs> that just popped out. Yeah, put a little bit of the oil in there helps uh, release. <laughs> cool. 
Okay, so let me toast some muffins and let's make some eggs benedict. Okay, so we toasted up some English muffins, my favorite Thomas, right? And here's our hollandaise sauce. So we made this in the all clad prep and cook and we've been keeping it warm in there. If you wanna see how we did that, I'll put a link to that video up here and down there. Also, I'll put a link to the video that we did where we made a hollandaise sauce just in with an immersion blender. Um, we were testing this out and it works fantastic. So here is our hollandaise. Look at that. I mean, perfect, right? So let's put a couple muffins down here on our plate. So next, I'm going to use some really thinly sliced turkey. You can use Canadian bacon. You can use whatever you like. I happen to like um, turkey on my hollandaise. I mean, on my um, eggs benedict. I don't know why. You got holidays on the brain, Bubba? I have holidays on the brain. Seriously. Yeah. I want to swim in that sauce, right? Um, we're going to go ahead and put our perfectly poached eggs on here. Poached in our new egg poacher. Thank you, Eric, for that, for my birthday. Well, I was just trying to think here, right? So, A, you're welcome. B, how's that compare to uh, the swimming method that you've been doing with it? It's a lot easier. It just seems like it's not as messy to me. Um, it's just simple. And it looks pretty. It's not like all like survivor, right? Whatever you scoop out of the water, yeah. right? Here it's all shaped pretty. And the beautiful part is, A, you got a saute pan out of it. You can use that pan for other stuff. Yeah, and yeah. you can use those little things for other things, not just eggs. Yeah. I don't know what you're cooking them, but guess what? You can find things, right? Yeah. So if you want to take a look at the poacher, I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. Okay, time for this beautiful hollandaise. Oh, gosh. Look at that. <laughs> do I put extra hollandaise on there? Uh, don't just go too crazy. You got, still got two more eggs to do. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do like the heat, you can... Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> So there's our eggs Benedict. Those are beautiful, huh? Oh my gosh. So the moment we've all been waiting for. I've been waiting for it for sure. So um, here is our eggs Benedict. We made the hollandaise sauce in the all clad prep and cook. I have officially named this the AC Puffin Stuff. <laughs> so that's what I've been calling it. Um, the all clap, it did a great job. The only thing about it is the lid is a little funky. Um, and when you go to clean it, you have to pop this interior piece off that it's like, you have to use the spatula that comes with it. And it's like, mm, you feel like you're going to break it. So that's the only issue with this, but I love this thing so far. So, um, yeah, the hollandaise sauce looks amazing. So the Demira, um, Egg poacher did a fantastic job. I love it. That is my go-to egg poacher from now on, not floating it in uh, a frying pan in water. So I use turkey, thin sliced turkey, mainly because that's what I like. But if you like Canadian bacon, use that as well. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. This right here is a treat. Now, I know this is not diet food by any stretch of the imagination. But, it's not diet food by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a treat now and then. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is amazing. Perfectly poached egg. The egg is uh, cooked and soft and the yolk is runny. Mm. Yum, yum. Mm. That right there is delicious. 
Yeah, it was absolutely delicious. You want to try it, Eric? A little bit spicy from the cayenne. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to actually eat the other one. What? Okay. Mm. You're making a mess. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a perfect, perfect yolk. <laughs> Lemon, um, gives a little bit of tang. And the cayenne gives mm. a little, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all over your face, boo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, a special treat for breakfast. Eggs Benedict. This is not an everyday uh, breakfast, but wow, every once in a while. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. So, cooks, um, get yourself an egg poacher. There'll be links down in the description as well as the all clad prep and cook. It's a really fun appliance, and I'm just getting to know it. So, as time goes on, we're going to make a marinara sauce in that. So, or a pasta sauce. Um, for a bolognese. Sure. Sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe below and join us on our journey to become better cooks. Um, also visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can catch me on social media at facebook.com slash groups slash amylearnstocook. That is my Facebook group. We talk about all things cooking gadgets, recipes, all kinds of fun stuff. Also, you can catch me at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and on Instagram at Cooking with Amy. Now, I need to finish this because um, it's delicious. Oh, so good.